Hey everybody, it's Ian the Off-Kilter Crafter. I hope you're having a great day today. Today we're going to be making this rather simplistic but yet very impactful card. Um, as you've seen on my channel lately, I've done a lot of simplistic cards, but I think this one really is one of my favorites. I love the white on white for the background, which you can kind of see there in the reflection. And then we got that awesome um, embossing silver powder in the center that really brings your eye straight into the center of the card. So let's go ahead and see how I put this card together. To get started today, I'm going to use some Nina Solar White 110 pound cardstock and some Nina Desert Storm 100, town, 100 pound cardstock. I'm going to cut these down. Uh, the panel for my stamping and everything this is going to cut, get cut down to six inches, uh, six inches by six inches. And then this is going to get cut down to uh, five inches, five and a half by four five and a half, I think. Um, I haven't quite planned this out all the way, but I want this to be a square card, which will need extra postage when sending this out. So I think it's, I haven't done the math totally in my head, but I think it's gonna be five and a half inches by 10 and a half inches. So that way I get a square card, I think. I'll come back to that. The first stamp set I'm gonna use for today's card is this one from Simon Says Stamp. It is the Center Cut Christmas Icons. So this is a great stamp set because you can use it in so many different ways. I'm gonna be using it with the center removed so that way I have a little peephole to put my greeting in and then all the other icons will stay intact. But this one actually comes apart in three pieces so that way you can get a, um, like as many options as you want to with this one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this right into the corner of my stamp positioning tool. This one's from Tim Holtz. And I'm gonna use everything but the innermost circle. And it's great because these, like I said, just kind of fit together and pop right into place. So that way you can use them all at the same time. I'm pushing this up into the corner because that's where my paper is going to go. I've got to flip my lid around since this is a rubber stamp and just pick it up just like that. Perfect. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my paper and I think that magnet will stay without getting caught. Let me make sure. Yep. So that will be perfect right there. I'm going to move my other magnet off to the side and then I'm going to use my Versamark ink pad. This is a clear sticky ink that is great for heat embossing, which is what I'm going to do next after I get this all stamped. I will stamp this two times to make sure that I get a good impression. Now that I have the Versamark on here, which you're not going to be able to see because the camera can't pick it up, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of my Brutus Monroe Alabaster embossing powder and I'm just going to coat this whole panel with this embossing powder and shake off the excess. What I forgot to do is use my embossing buddy to do a little bit of um, making sure that the um, embossing powder doesn't stick in parts that I don't want it to, but I think for the most part I should be okay. Although it looks like now as I'm doing it, there is a spot that is just covered in embossing powder. Hopefully I can shake that off. All right, for the most part, you can see that I've gotten everything covered. So I'm gonna go ahead and start using my heat tool to heat everything up and get it all melted. All right, it is gonna be nearly impossible for you to see all the detail that is in this card, but I really love it. I'm hoping when I take photos of it, I will be able to show it to you a little more clearly, but it is a subtle white on white look, but it is really spectacular the way it came out. So I'm very happy with the results. I'm gonna pop it back here into the Tim Holtz platform and I'm gonna grab my other stamp set, which is Simon Says Stamp Big Scripty Greetings Holidays. And I'm gonna use the Noel stamp here. And I'm going to put it right into the center so that it's framed by all the icons, basically. I do need to flip my platform lid around because we're using a clear stamp again. So I'm just going to pick it up just like that. I hope I have it in this, the center. I centered it as best as I could, but you never know. So now what I'm going to do is use my Versamark ink once again. I am going to hit it twice and then I'll hit it with my embossing powder and before I do that, I better remember to use my embossing buddy this time and add some powder on it. So hopefully this next layer of embossing powder 
doesn't um, stick as badly as some of the other. Next, I'm gonna grab some silver embossing powder from Ranger, and I'm gonna sprinkle this right on top of the Noel. Just like that, and I'll heat that up. I love how this looks, but I really want this to stand out a lot from the background, so I'm gonna go ahead and I could have done the technique where while it was still hot, um, add another layer on, but I, instead I let it cool a little too long, so I'm just gonna stamp right on top of it with another layer of Versamark ink, and then heat and add some more embossing powder and then heat it again with my heat tool. A lot of times two layers of embossing powder is just perfect. It really smooths out nicely and I like the dimension I'm getting. So I'm gonna leave it just like this. All right, I want to go ahead and start cutting this panel down. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm just gonna cut the edge off. Um, I have it butted up against the edge over here but there's some space on this side. So what I'm gonna go in and do is just slice off that extra space so that way it Oh, and my cutter didn't quite cut all the way through. Awesome. All right, anyways. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna first cut off that kind of dead space um, before I start bringing it to its final size. And then once I get the um, dead space cut off, then I'm gonna start cutting it down to the size of five and a half by five and a half. Okay, I was gonna use the Nina Desert Storm cardstock, but I just looked over on my shelf and I have this foil cardstock from Cricut, and I think this would make a lovely border. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this piece of paper down to five and a half by 11, so that way I can use this as the back, uh, or the, the background for this. I think this is gonna work perfectly. All right, so now that I have this paper cut, again, it is five and a half inches wide by uh, 11 inches long. And I'm going to go ahead and score this at the five and a half, so that way it is five and a half uh, on each side, basically. Now I'm sure some of you out there are screaming at me, like, why am I using a whole um, panel of this like I could probably just cut this off at the five and a half mark and make it into a single card without using this as the backing paper but I kind of like I kind of like did I explain that right basically some of you may be like shouting at me that I'm wasting this foil cardstock when the back is not hardly ever seen but I think it really ties everything together and is gonna add a nice accent so even like when you turn the card over it will be decorated. I don't know. I feel, I feel, I don't know. I don't feel like I need to put too much work into this. I really just need to glue this down and be done with it because I think if you're thinking about that, you might be thinking a little too hard. Does that make sense? I don't know. But anyways, so now I'm going to take my Tombow Extreme Adhesive and I'm going to go ahead and run it on all four sides and a little bit in the center. For some reason, even on square cards, I like to have them open from the top. So I'm just gonna take my Noel panel and try to center it as best as possible, which you know here on my channel hardly ever happens, but we're gonna, we're gonna do our best here. All right, it's super clean and simple, but I really like how this one came out. Uh, really kind of gets the message across and then has a lot of fun textures to it to uh, kind of embellish it. So there you go. I hope you liked today's card. If you did, give it a thumbs up, let YouTube know that you liked my video, and then hopefully YouTube will share it across YouTube land. Also guys, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and get great updates every time I post a new video or go live by clicking the bell icon to get notified. Also guys, don't forget to check me out over on my social media links. Those are listed down in the description below. You can check out all of my social media links and get social with me. I hope everybody has a great day, and remember guys, normal's just a setting on the dryer. Bye.